Welcome back to Come College Online Ministry and Encouragement. I'm Reverend Jewel Williams here with our Sunday message for March the 1st. And if you want to know more about the ministry, you can go to our website, williamsinnovativenetwork.org. Um, you can also join us on our Facebook page, uh, Williams Innovative Network, or you can follow us on Twitter, Win With Christ. And also go to our YouTube channel, Jewel W1. Our theme for our Sunday messages is heart matters. What do you treasure? Our scriptural theme comes from Psalm 51, verse 10 through 12. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. So as we start the month of March, we're talking about heart matters an understanding heart. And I'm calling today's lessons, under, do you understand who you are? Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, for the great blessing. Now, Father, we just ask that you would have your way in us this day. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you would show us and lead us and guide us into all truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The scripture that I'm coming with from today is in Genesis verse 1 verse 126 it said then God said let us make mankind in our image in our likeness so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground now you know I just want to take a few minutes to kind of set the, the tone because this is really what we're going to be talking about for this entire month you know in the beginning God was creating the heaven and the earth and um he in this this particular verse it says then god said let us make mankind in our image and our likeness and so who's the image and who's the likeness well we're talking about the triune god and when he says then god said let us you know the who is the us it's the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit and so god wanted to make man in his image and in his likeness and what does that mean well there's certain attributes that God has that he has that has given to us. There are certain things that only he has alone, but there are certain attributes that are in God that he requires and, and has given his children, to, the, his creation, his mankind. Because this isn't this isn't the trees. This isn't the grass. They don't have these attributes. It's only humanity that has these attributes of God. And so there's wisdom that he gives us. God is a creative God and he gives us that ability to be creative people. Um, God is a God that that is holy and he, he gives us the ability to also be holy. So there's these attributes that that he has. There's these characteristics that God has that he has imparted to us as humanity. However, you know, jumping ahead because because of Adam and Eve, because of their sin, then these attributes were marred in us. They don't function. They weren't functioning the way God originally created them to. So, for example, this ability to be creative that God gave us that he also had. It was to create good things. We, we you know, we, we read in the scripture, he told them to do what he told them to go and to multiply and be fruitful and to bring forth um, bring forth children. Well, that was the creative side. And they were going to be able to uh, create an environment of family. They were going to be able to create this place where God could dwell amongst them as a people and as a family. So they had some ability to be creative. But yet when sin entered in, we see the results of what happens to a, a depraved mind that creates chaos, that creates wrong things. Uh, you know, we could see how things, just like we see the good, we see the counterfeit. The enemy comes and he's been bringing counterfeit. So, you know, just like we have true preachers and, and people that bring the word of God, there's the counterfeit, the ones that come and create havoc and problem. And so these are the things that happen. And so God, when he created man, we were to, to, to fulfill these attributes and live out these attributes that he put in man. But he also says what? That they may rule rule over the fish, the sea, the birds, and the sky, the livestock, all the wild all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. You know, God had given this ability and this right, this authority into man's hand, into humanity's hand, to rule over the things of the earth, to rule over what was going on in the earth. And so God, you know, God gave us this dominion, this earthly authority over the earth. 
Um, so therefore, that which was on the earth, in the earth, affects the earth, had to align itself to what was written. And here, this is, was God's word. It wasn't written, it was spoken, but it's the same thing. Over God's decreed word. And the truth was that man had the ability to um, have authority over that. And what we have to understand is the enemy of our soul came in even at this point in, in time and in history because he understood that great responsibility that God was given to man to, to rule the earth. And he wanted to corrupt that, to mar that. And, and he does the same thing for us today. He tries to get in and keep us from understanding who we are. And so even though we say, well, that's Old Testament, so that doesn't count anymore. No, it still counts. And we'll see that later in the month that God is still giving us authority over the earth. God is still giving us authority in the earth. And therefore, when you have authority, that means you have a right to 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 control some things or you have a right to set things in order if something's out of order you are the authority to come in and set it in order if something is not lining itself up with the proper rules you have the right to set it right and so we don't understand who we are if we're lost in sin when we're lost in 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 um, ourselves or when the enemy has lied to us and we're not able to walk or who God has called us to be, then we don't understand who we are. And But to see an understanding heart is one where God is looking to help us to really understand. How do you understand? Well, we got to get in the word. We have to take time with the word. We can't have these, um, we kind of microwave, you know, we want the microwave instant, you know, kind of things. We want instantly, you know, we'll look at the word for just the stuff that is convenient, the stuff that makes me feel good, the stuff that agrees with what I want to agree. And we don't take the time to really dig into the word, to, to let the Holy Spirit teach us and guide us and help us to learn what, what things we need to. And, and if we don't do that, we won't have the ability to understand who we are. We won't understand the power we have. We won't understand the authority we have in the earth. We won't understand then how important our prayer is, how important our walk is. And that's the way that the enemy really defeats us. Defeats us. If he can keep you and I from really understanding who we are in Christ, that's half the battle. Because then we don't know, and then if we don't know, we don't show it. We don't show it in our walk and our life, and then we don't show it to those that come behind us. But but God is wanting us to understand the authority we have. Now, you know, this isn't, you know, this isn't dictator kind of authority. Because, you know, sometimes we can look at authority of, you know, I'm the boss and I'm the one to make all the rules. No, this authority is what God has given us, but it still has to line itself up with what God's will is. Because, you know, for example, I can't be saying, OK, well, you know, I got a few people I don't like. So, Lord, just bam, you know, kill them dead. No, that's not lining up with what God wants. But God wants us to line us up with his will. And when we line ourselves up with his will. Then that's the place of authority that God wants us to come from. And so, again, it's this thing of, you know, understanding who we are. And there's some things that we have to do. And we're going to talk about that more this month. But the first point really is we got to get in our word. We have to get in our word so that we can really understand what the Bible is teaching us about how important our lives are, what promises are there. And not just the promises, you know, for stuff, because generally looking for stuff, but what's the provision that he gives us to be able to do battle in this world, to be able to stand strong against the forces and um, demonic forces and things that come against us? How do we um, move and have our being in who Christ has said we to, to be? Because we have to understand, starting from the very beginning of God's word, he had this plan for us to have dominion, to have some rulership, some authority in this earth the enemy of our soul got in and and tried to um stop that but god always has a way of completing what it is he starts and so just like you know adam and eve let the enemy trick them and get them off track you know my prayer today is that we don't let the enemy get in and trick us and get us off track of being and walking in the authority that god has for our lives so again an understanding heart. Do you understand who you are? 
We're going to talk about that more this month. Let's have a word of prayer. God, we thank you for who you are. And Lord, we thank you that your word does bring clarity and helps us to understand who we are. And Lord, as we start this lesson, I pray that if it's somebody watching that really is having a difficulty really understanding who they are, the power and the authority that you've given, I pray, Lord, that you would begin to open up their understanding, that they would seek to want to know more about you, that they would desire to understand the power that, that you have placed within us through your Holy Spirit. And so God, I just pray for somebody right now that is seeking salvation. I pray that you would draw someone to yourself. Lord, I pray for somebody that needs healing in their body, somebody that's having some difficulty, feeling discouraged and, and ready to give up. Father, I pray right now that they understand that they are more than victorious. They are more than conquerors, not because I said so, but because that's what you decree in your word, that when we trust you, love you, put our hands and put our lives in you, that you have already made us a victor. So in Jesus name, we do pray. Amen. God bless.